Chapter 1. The Fascinating History of Planes Planes have a fascinating history that stretches back many years. Let's go on a journey and discover some amazing facts about aviation and how planes came to be. In the early 1900s, a group of trailblazers called the Wright Brothers set out on an incredible adventure. They wanted to create a flying machine, an invention that would change the world forever. These brothers were determined and hard-working pioneers of aviation. With their keen minds, the Wright brothers studied the history of flight and the techniques used by other inventors. They learned about the principles of engineering and how to apply them to their own aircraft designs. They started by building and testing gliders, learning from each flight, and making improvements. After lots of experimenting and brainstorming, the Wright brothers built their very first powered aircraft. It was a remarkable prototype. With courage in their hearts, they prepared for their momentous flight. On a sunny day in December 1903 at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, they were finally ready for takeoff. The brothers climbed into the plane, which was called the Flyer. They checked every last detail to make sure nothing would go wrong. The engines roared to life, and with a burst of energy, the flyer started speeding down the runway. The moment was tense, full of anticipation. Then, as if by magic, the flyer left the ground. The Wright brothers were flying. The aircraft soared through the sky, and the brothers were filled with excitement and joy. They had achieved the impossible. Their flight lasted only 12 seconds but it was a historic moment. The Wright brothers had made history by inventing the world's first successful airplane. This achievement was a turning point in the world of aviation. Their hard work and determination had paid off, and their dream had become a reality. From that moment on, planes began to soar into the skies all over the world. Engineers and inventors were inspired by the Wright brothers' accomplishment and started designing new and improved aircraft. They built faster planes, bigger planes, and planes that could carry more people. Flight became more and more accessible to everyone. People could travel long distances through the air, reaching places that were once unimaginable. The world became smaller as planes connected different countries and cultures. Today, airplanes are an essential part of our lives. We hop on planes to go on vacations, visit loved ones, or explore new places. We have the Wright brothers to thank for their determination and their breakthrough invention. So, the next time you watch an airplane soaring through the sky, take a moment to appreciate the incredible history behind it. Remember the Wright brothers and the pioneers of aviation who made it all possible. And who knows, maybe one day you'll become an engineer and design the next incredible plane that will shape the future of flight. Question, what is the Wright brothers known for? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, How Planes Stay Up in the Sky Planes are amazing machines that can soar high up in the sky. But have you ever wondered how they stay up there? Well, it's all about something called lift. You see, planes belong to a fascinating field called aviation. Aviation is the science and art of flying through the air. And lift is an important force that keeps planes from falling down. So how does it work? Let's dive into the world of aerodynamics. The wings of a plane are designed in a special way to create lift. They have a curved shape on top and a flatter shape on the bottom. This clever design helps to generate lift when the plane is in motion. When a plane moves forward, air flows over its wings. The air passing over the curved top of the wing has to travel farther and faster than the air passing underneath the flatter bottom. This causes the air pressure on top of the wing to be lower than the air pressure underneath. And what does this difference in air pressure do? Well, it creates a force of lift. The higher pressure below the wing pushes the plane upward, while the lower pressure above the wing pulls it up. Pretty cool, right? 
but lift alone isn't enough to keep a plane in the sky. There's another force called thrust that helps overcome the force of gravity. Thrust is the force that propels the plane forward. It's generated by powerful engines, like jet engines or propellers. As the engines produce thrust, the plane moves forward, creating airflow over its wings. This airflow then generates lift, allowing the plane to rise higher and higher into the sky. But what about landing? Well, when it's time for a plane to come back down, the pilot reduces the thrust of the engines. This slows the plane down, and gravity takes over. Gravity is a force that pulls everything towards the ground. As the plane descends, the pilot adjusts the angle of the wings and uses control surfaces, like flaps and ailerons, to control the airflow and create the desired amount of lift. This helps the plane descend smoothly and safely. Finally, as the plane gets closer to the ground, the pilot raises the nose slightly and reduces the speed even more. The remaining lift decreases, allowing the plane to touch down on the runway softly. And there you have it, the magic of how planes stay up in the sky. It's all about lift, wings, airflow, aerodynamics, thrust, gravity, altitude, and landing. Next time you see a plane soaring in the sky, remember how all these things work together to keep it up there, defying gravity. Question. How do planes achieve lift? Check the video description for the answer.